While not completely true to the original source material, this episode will be retelling two classic tales. One is The Three Little Pigs, and the other one is Chips. You know that TV show about the two California Highway Patrol motorcycle officers? It was in the 70s and 80s? No? Okay, well it does, and it's rated M, as it always is. Give me your fucking money, now! Don't no. Shoot. I'm sorry I'll about you that. Big. I can get you Corker's tickets. Oh, cool. Sounds good. I'm always willing to help a complete stranger for 20 bucks and a few bullets. Let's play. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Grand Theft Auto 5. Today we're hey, doing what's cracking? another what's heist. Here? Right there. So we really finna do this shit? <clears throat> we finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. Hey. All right, let's sit up. Here's the plan. All right, Trevor, yeah. I want you in this position up here. Okay, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay, yeah. I'm going to be right here in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley in a tow truck. Hope is they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes guy. It's all a little hopeful, homie. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Okay. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, <sighs> on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, you the professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real oh. professional. Okay, Trevor, you picked them out, bro. I don't know why you seem surprised. <sighs> Let's do this. Let's go, let's go. It might have been nice to give people different masks so I could tell them apart, but, you know, whatever. I like the idea of, of this. Go to Cypress Flats. So I am, I'm currently Michael, playing as the Trash Master. If you're not familiar with what's going on, we're doing a heist for the government agents. I'm not even real sure we get paid. And what's funny is that we did a heist last episode, and we uh, didn't get paid. If you missed that one, you should go watch it. It's pretty good. It was entertaining, if nothing else, but uh, it did not result in any funds. We've done that first heist, and we haven't really done any well, anything financially with, with financial gain since then. All right, so I'm already where I need to be. Let's uh, start blocking the road here. All right, T, I'm in position. What's the ETA? Looking for him. Do I find him? There they are, incoming. Get ready to do your thing. Michael, here goes something. You better get on your way. No problem. Get the truck in position. I'm going, I'm Across going. Cross both lanes, remember. Block the road. Can certainly do that. Turn the truck and block both lanes. Just stop the truck and keep it stationary. I'm stopped. You're on, F. <laughs> Butt lovers. I love it. Did Public Works change their schedule? Oh, snap. Hey, man, I got these motherfuckers. <laughs> Ram the security truck. I can certainly do that. Full speed ahead, son. Bam. Nice. Holy crap. I'm causing some damage. All right, we go in fast, we go in hard, we Hello. get the money. Fit the sticky bomb. Okay, okay. Plant a sticky bomb on the rear door of the truck. Okay, hold on a sec. Just give me a minute, because I'm taking my dear sweet time. Sticky bomb. And go. Bomb, kid. Yeah, no and duh. Make it Boom! Everyone out! Let's go! On the ground, now! Move it! My fucking ears! I'm fucking deaf, you complete prick! Oh. Clean out the van, I got the car. Do we get the it? The alarm's been tripped. The cops will be swarming here in ten seconds. You better run! Shut the fuck up! Come on, good to go! You hear all them sirens, dog? 
Looks like they hit their panic button. After LSPD incoming. F, you're covered by those barriers there. I'll be up here. Wait, Shit. what? We ain't gonna clear the area. All right, we hold the cops. Make a play when we see a window. Hey, this gonna be a nasty motherfucker, man. What? Okay, um, I'm gonna switch to Trevor because he's Watch he's. Out! Why does he have an RPG? Hey, it's them or us. We put these cops down and we move on. In the center. The storm, ah, three for three. For, no, I only got I only got two of them. Let's get the other two. Bam. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh snap! Bam! 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 There are more of them. Oh wait, that's my guy. I should probably not shoot him. Take out the news reinforcements coming from the rear alley. No, son. No, you don't. Oh God! Oh Jesus! Jump up here. This is gonna help. Yeah. Whoa, there's another guy up there. Jesus. Got him. Okay. Are we good? We're good? I think we're good for now. We're good? I'm gonna keep climbing. There's a lot of guys up here. And I have a lot of bullets to shoot them with. Oh, I'm climbing up. I'm climb you're shooting at me now. No, no, you don't. Alright, I better switch before I fall. Franklin! God. One! Two! And there's one to the side of me. Sorry, bro. This is not gonna be okay. Gotcha! They're still coming. And... Where now? Take out the snipers? The sni- there's snipers? On the roof? Really? Because I don't. Take these snipers out all done, dog. Where are the snipers? I don't see the snipers. On the roof. Oh. Shooter one is down. There goes the second shooter. Was that it? Was that what I was trying to to do? I think so. Are we good now? Was there just two? I'm oh no no there's another guy. Thank god that was awful. I couldn't find him. Boom! Boom! He's still alive, he's still alive, he's still alive! Reload! Uh coming from the rear alley. Jesus, there's a lot going on. Hold on, hold on. There's an app for this. It's called Kaboom! What? Oh, hello. If you would stop moving for just a second, this will be over real quick. All right, hold on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Almost done with this. Deal with the trash truck. I'll get the funds to Steve's guy. I'm on the move. Hey man, shit, you look after yourself, dog. All right. Got him. Get in the garbage truck. Well, that was a mess. Holy crap. And the worst part was being up there with Trevor and not having any idea where the snipers were. Because I got the first one and then I couldn't find the other ones. But they were hard to see. On the roof right there is not very helpful or descriptive, Franklin. Alright, go to the getaway location. I guess we're all going to meet up there and then take my brilliant truck that I placed last episode. A very slow, bulky vehicle that could easily turn over. It's a great idea. How far away are we from the drop? Oh, actually, we're close. I didn't actually know where all this stuff was going down, so I'm kind of glad that I put it as close as I did so I don't have to, like, drive halfway across the world to get where I need to go. Because I really did not have a clue where <laughs> everything was going down. They didn't really make that very... Clear. It wasn't understandable. Alright, so my truck is parked right on the other side of this thing. There it is, right where I left it. Get back in the guard. Why? 
Oh my god, I have to... Tr I have to get right here. Okay, now I can leave the garbage truck. That's some bullcrap, Rockstar. Now I have to destroy the garbage truck. Alright, well, it's probably best done with one of these sticky bombs. But I'm gonna move this thing first, otherwise it's gonna blow up my truck. And that ain't cool. Let's drive away from this. What? Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, fart. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to throw another one. Oh, God. Oh, God. Blow up! Why aren't they blowing up? Do I have to get out of the car? Blow up! They're not... I'm holding left. That's what blows them up, right? Oh, my God. Fine, you piece of crap. I'll do this the hard way. Good night, sweet truck. All right, we're out of here. Get in the car. Go, go, go. Get away from the garbage truck. Yeah. No, duh. I'm driving. Like there was nothing wrong. Do I got to pick anyone up? Are we good? Making a call. All right, let's talk. Everything cool? Yeah, man. Shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. And now we're going to switch over to Michael, I guess. And we'll be able to actually see what happens. If we got paid a little bit, that'd be pretty nice. Since we did all the work. But I guess they have no reason to pay us. Go to Devin's house. Devin lives out by the FIB building? Or am I somewhere else? I just know that the FIB, you know, the actual bureau, is up here somewhere. Well, there's... Well... No, actually, no. It's it's in the city. I just met Dave out on a building one time. That wasn't actually the bureau. That was the um, what you call it? Observatory. Got a package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston. Come on. Hi guys. I'm safe. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> There you go, there you go. Boom! So long, motherfucker! Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores. Big ticket cars. Major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. Oh. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards. Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's <laughs> retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... <sighs> All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. <laughs> That's funny. Escort me out. I'm cool. We're good. Have a good one, boys. Interesting. And I see some very interesting uh, missions coming up in the future. Let's play. Do I get paid? Absolutely not. Another heist. No payday. Sort of a heist. Not really a heist. Kind of a heist? Sort of a heist. It said HS. It's heist, right? Or just H? Let's call Franklin, see what he wants. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very wealthy. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all, right, uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. I think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you. It's a step up for you. A real opportunity. That's cool. And uh, looks like I have got some missions that just showed up out of nowhere. I have got 
stuff to do. Anything on this side of the map? No, of course not. Besides meeting up with my good buddy Cletus, whenever I finally go back to controlling Trevor. Otherwise, I've got Devin. Fun. And I've got uh, Solomon. So I could actually go see this movie producer guy. Uh, what would be more interesting for me, I believe, is actually going to see Devin as Franklin. Because he was just called and told about this opportunity. Let's say that perhaps he did think about it. And perhaps he's decided to actually go with it. So let's uh, hop over to Franklin, see what he's up to. And uh, if the mission is available to us, which it should be, I think I'm going to go check it out as Franklin before we end the episode. To be honest, I thought the episode was going to be a little longer. The heist didn't take too long to do. Man, one of these days, I gotta get paid. Am I not making enough money? I think I can do Devin... Yeah, I can do Devin's with anybody, which is the thing. He says he wants me, he wants professionals, he wants my crew. And I just called Franklin, so I think it's appropriate that we take Franklin over there, so let's go. Here we are. Time to meet the man himself. Yo, Devin. Let's have a chat. Hello. Slick. Oh, you must be Michael's boy. Ugh. Oh, man. Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Ugh. Good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, homie. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. <laughs> oh, of course, you must be the creepy one. Not coming from you, please. Mmm, what's going on? <laughs> you're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. <sighs> So what's going on? Oh, oh, you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. <laughs> Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Man, I did not know that this was... Crap. I didn't know that this was another huge heist-type mission thing. I was not prepared for that. Okay, episode is going to be long because we're on another three-parter mission. Or not three-parter, just with three people. I was going to say three-way, but I used that a few episodes ago, and uh, that's not actually the word I was trying to find. So I won't call it another three-way mission. Uh, but we are on our way to do something. I'm taking a shortcut. Oh, God. That's bad. Yep. Hi, fella. Alright, time to give Michael a call. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. So apparently all I really need to do is crash into these guys. This should be a quick and easy job. Crash into the guys, take their stuff, and then I'm done. No problem. I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does 2.7? Hey, hey how about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh. Ooh. The fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. <laughs> All right. This will be fun. I don't think we've had a race since, like, one of the first episodes. Race the cars. Where are we ultimately going to? I don't know, but it's not going to end well for those guys. 
I need to get on the phone, although being on the phone while racing is very dangerous. It's already hard enough driving, let alone racing. I gotta stick with these guys, or I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> Race the cars. Shoot! Woohoo! I like how it came on, like, right, right at the last second to remind me that I could do that. It's important stuff to remember, man. Oh, God. We are going. So I'm not supposed to wreck these guys. I'm just supposed to follow them. Michael and, and Trevor have got things figured out on the other end. Holy crap. This is intense. I'm doing okay, though, and as long as no one, like, does anything stupid on the road, I should be all right. Whew. I mean, this all, all this stuff is scripted. All the cars being in the, in the particular spots is scripted, but it's cool. It's really freaking cool when I'm catching up. I have to keep letting off the gas because I'm worried I'm going to crash into them and just end up ruining everything. I'm sticking with them. Man, this is dangerous. You know what's you know what's crazy is that people actually do this. Like, this is not just a thing that happens in games. I've actually known people, you know, personal, you know, friends. I, I don't know if it's your, uh, acquaintances, personal acquaintances of mine that have done illegal street racing! My car, asshole! Which is crazy. That guy crashed. So now I'm in front of this guy. I don't know, maybe I should be in front of the guy. I'm gonna focus on following the other dude. Careful. Be very careful, this guy's way up there. Stick to the left. Doing well. Hey, we coming up now, man. Beat in a few seconds. Got it. <laughs> oh, whatever. Here they come. God, we look amazing. That later. Pull over and take the cars. Just turned on my lights. Ah, oh, this is a fun one too. Ah, oh, this is such a good episode. Far, so many man, fun we missions. We got it. This one's on the wrong side of the road. I'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it. Uh, you stay on that one. I'll stay on the right side of the road. Although I would have been fine, but I gotta gain some speed, or I'm not gonna be able to catch this guy. And Franklin's back there too. He's still with him. But this is all a big trick, cause we gonna get them cars. I think that's what that we're after. Like we gotta get closer. I'm working on it. This is fun. I feel like I'm in an old like show. Stay on up, T. They'll stop eventually. What's the name of that show? God, I can't remember the name of the show. What about the the highway patrolman? God, the comment's gonna be filled with the answer, and I'm gonna be kicking myself, but I can't remember it. My dad loved the show, and I watched it a lot growing up because he watched yeah, it. We gotta stick with them. They gotta stop sometime. We're getting closer. As long as we don't hit anything. If we hit anything, we're screwed. Go up the middle. Man, this is nuts! Driving into Polito Bay. Traffic might slow him down. Whoa! How he you almost doing, got hit. T? We gotta hang in there. He almost got hit. That was close. Blow up driven around the whole of southern San Andreas before they stop. Frank's still on him. The dickheads probably want him to stop and take the heat. Well he is in the back. Good things come to those who wait. <laughs> Whoa, going up the side. We're closing in, but it's just... Whoa, it's far away. Pretty sure if I hit anything, I'm screwed. Good. My ass is dead. Oh, man. Are they, are they slowing down? It doesn't really look like... They're going to crash, man. Something's going to happen. We're, like, not going to be able to recover the cars. There we go. We got them. Sweet! <laughs> this ought to be good. Whoa, hey. Stay in the car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you, too. <laughs> You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, 
You and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we are sitting there, so uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. <laughs> officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Fucking car. <laughs> All right, we got to make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick. You, you little shit. Get the fuck out of here. Go on. Drive to the garage. As, as who? Does it matter? Yes, not. Man, I'm sick of driving so slow staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. Okay, well, I'm, I was in the front, so why wouldn't I pick Michael? Also, if I crash this thing, I'm going to be in trouble. Speak. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly what Schultz, the Senior thing? Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey, just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yeah, I don't think you're going to catch me. I mean, aside from me running into something and having a very hideous death, um, I, I think we're good. Oh, crap. And I bet there is an achievement for keeping it scratch-free. This is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what, right before I met you, I was boosting Rise and Racing. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'd be at anyway. <laughs> <laughs> at least he's got a sense of humor. I said it in a recent episode, but I feel like Franklin is the only likable character. I mean, Trevor, you know, he's got so much, so many problems, and you want to like him, but then he does stuff where you're just, it's unforgivable. Oh god, oh god. Oh, that could have ended poorly. They're behind me. Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. You don't sound that different, to be honest. But you must know where this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like... To you, what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. The lead horse always burns up before the end. Eh, uh, don't get too cocky. I think I got it. Although they were close. I was surprised how close they were. Taking this exit ramp. I gotta be careful on the exit ramp. Things could be it. real hairy. I'm, I have not scratched the car at all. And I'm trying to keep it that way. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm trying hard. What do you mean? Like, how am I going to beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. <laughs> don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman. Alright, we're almost there. I somehow managed, I don't know how, to get it here without scratching it. Oh my god. Wow. I hope I get a bonus for that. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh god, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, gimme five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? <laughs> so fucking lootly. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the 
fucking money now. Ooh. Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion, a work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Like, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Interesting. This is a separate mission, of course. Of course. Of course. Mission passed. So we need five cars, but those are going to be separate missions. We're not going to do those right now. Bam! Tight squeeze, bus pass, split seconds, follow the leader. Huh. But I didn't get anything for not scratching the car. That was hard, man. I had to work hard for that, dang it. <laughs> Tried to kill myself by a station wagon. Anyway... Two long episodes in a row. We'll go back to normal length next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And tune in next time when I do more. Steven plays Grand Theft Auto V. Do you ah! know what you've done? The wire is going fucking crazy. Oh, and good to see you too. <laughs> What's it been? Not ten years? Where you at, Mr. Revolutionary? What? Whoa. The smoke in. I'm at City Hall. I'm the only fool here. Uh, uh... What the... Jesus! Ah! Oh my god! Man, I will mess you up, you son of a gun! You want a piece of this? 